Welcome back people, we got some more Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. This is the demo. The game still hasn't been released yet, but um, I, in the meantime I've been uh, <laughs> messing around a little bit, um, looking at different spots. I haven't really done any fishing, well in fact I've done no fishing since the last video that I did push out of Ultimate Fishing Simulator. That is because I was just looking around, seeing the views and seeing what was around and yeah, this place does actually look really, really awesome. I really like the way this place looks. The graphics on it, really impressed. Can't wait to crank this up to, to maximum graphics. But I didn't realize I can actually come all the way down this way. That's pretty cool. I can stand right off here. Look at these little rocks as well. They're really good. Yeah, it's pretty cool that you can... Um, we did fish over at the other side last time. So I'm going to try it here. We'll see how we do. So we do lots of different types of gaming on the channel for the best part of it. Most of it is fishing. Um, obviously you guys, you regulars, you subscribers know the, the fishing games I normally do play. But I wanted to play a bit of this one just because it is new. It is the demo. wanted to get a little bit of practice in. If you guys want to see more of this, of course let me know. And uh, leave it in the comments section below. I'm going to see today... If I can, we caught some smallmouth bass in the last video. I want to see if I can get ourselves some more rainbow trout. We, I think I had one. I also want to try, my biggest one is the the salmon. Because the salmon, I know the salmon are going to fight incredibly great. So um, let's take down the real tension there with my line real quick. And we'll do a little bit of fishing here today. Oh gosh, I messed that cast up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a little bit of fishing here today and we'll see how we do. I'm sorry, my foot was squashing a bottle, leaning against a bottle. Alright, so yeah, I used the um, other lure before. So I'm going to do a little bit of lure fishing this time. But obviously with this one, rather than the other one that I was using last time. This one is a different lure. This is one that I haven't tried yet. And I will try maybe one of the other ones as well. And we'll see how we do. So... To, once you cast your rod, let's talk about casting your rod. It's um, a little bit cranky. Now that could be because it's a demo, and obviously there, this is kind of you know you're just testing the game out sort of thing. But um, yeah, the casting is a little bit strange. So if I right click, it does that motion to put the bail arm over, so it's ready to cast. And I click on the left side of the mouse button, and it does nothing, which is strange. Now, if I right-click, so the bail arm is now not over, and then hold my finger down on the left button, now you can see the bar, white bar at the bottom of the screen there. That's how fast I'm going to cast. Now he's put the bail arm over. I didn't click to put the bail arm over. It did that automatically. So, yeah, I think there's a little bit of strange things going on there. I think by clicking the... Um, the right button to put the bail arm over, and then you then using the left button to cast, uh, that should be the way it should be, but for some reason it puts the bow arm over don't let you cast So to cast your rod. I hope that's, that's a lot of yeah It sounds a bit complicated, but it's not as it's not as difficult as it seems, but um We've got to fish on We got to fish on hold that fault I'll talk about casting in a sec just because uh, You guys might struggle a little bit with it I did it first. Okay, so to reel it, to get it in, you have to keep your finger down on the uh, right mouse button there, which is kind of strange. But anyway, we got ourselves some rainbow trout. Not bad. Two kilograms. Uh, not much, but we can still sell it for 204. So that's pretty good. So let's sell that. Get ourselves a little bit of XP in the process. So yeah, for casting, use the left mouse button. Click, don't bother clicking the, the right because as I said it puts the bow alarm over and it doesn't do anything so um, that could be a game bug I, I, I'm pretty sure it is to be fair but yeah the click down on the left mouse button until the white bar fills up the higher the white bar to the end obviously the further you're going to cast so um, yeah left button keep your finger on it until you're ready to cast then take your finger off your rod will cast and then you're like this. You can just keep right clicking, uh, left clicking, should I say? Sorry. Keep left clicking so that way 
you're doing stop and go click release click release this looks like quite a big fish I really hope I don't lose this one and then to reel it in there when you reel it in when you get a little bit closer that was definitely a bit bigger when you reel it in closer um, don't speed reel too quick because when it comes in closer you got to click the right mouse button and keep your finger clicked down as you saw it come up that little motion at the bottom of the screen so um, nice looking fish good picture quality good cash there bad XP so you see the white bar going up and down on the bottom when it gets all the way to the right let go of your left mouse button and then there we go cast so as I said when you get it in closer <clears throat> when the you get the fish in closer uh, click down on the right button and keep your finger on it hope that hope you understand that it sounds complicated but as I said it's not as bad as it seems and then if you hit you um, is it you yeah if you hit you so you can see it in the water just like with ultimate fishing simulator with ultimate fishing simulator 2 we are able to do this and that's really good because I was kind of worried a little bit that they were that was going to take that out i don't know why that bothered me so much but it did <laughs> with ultimate fishing simulator you could see the uh, the lure and your bait and stuff under the water and you can see the fish and stuff under the water and i thought that looked really really good so i'm glad that they've added it into ultimate fishing simulator 2 i'm glad they still kept that okay so also talking about um your reel and stuff so you have plus and minus on your keyboard the uh, minus is obviously the tension of your reel I don't know if you can see them little white bars moving down there on the bottom left of uh, bottom right of the screen you can see white bars going up now and then you can see white bars going down that's how much tension how much strain you're putting onto your reel so plus and minus for that and to get into your inventory to choose your spinning rod or bait rod you would hit i and then um that's how you get into your rods to pick between your rods that's the numbers so from one to to five but we can't buy any rods at the moment just because this is obviously a demo so we're not able to do that but when you when the game does finally be, get release you can so when you got the fish on and you see the fish take it always right click because that's your strike button you've got to strike and then when you get in close as you see at the bottom there it says press and hold which I did press and hold my right button so that way it brings it in so it's slightly different nearly two hundred dollars there not too bad yeah slightly different to ultimate fishing simulator 2 because he would normally pull out a net in front of him and pick it up that way but you never know I'm actually getting quite good cast some ended up on the ground every time yeah you never know over time um, they might do it where uh, you go to a different lake and obviously there's bigger fish and then maybe they might have an option to buy a net I'm hoping they do because this was one game that I did like playing as a fishing game where you could actually put the net forward and pick the fish up like that as I mentioned before of the ultimate fishing simulator 2 the first one we did I mentioned saying about picking up the um, the fish with one hand it's not very realistic and when I say picking it up with one hand more so this is definitely a good fish good size don't lose it bubbles yeah picking up a small fish with one hand understandable but when you're picking up fish at like like 200 pounds plus with just one hand that guy must be real strong you know <laughs> but anyway hopefully they do bring the net in so there we go 390 dollars even better that one a little bit more heavier in weight bit of xp i'm not going to bother to release if i if you do release it it does give you more xp but at this point because it is a demo the xp doesn't really do anything so i'm just going to keep on selling i don't know as well just to mention just in case any of you guys do ask I don't know by playing the demo if when the game finally releases and you buy it whether your XP and your cash that you've already earned from the demo is going to transfer over to the original game. To be honest, in my opinion, just me guessing, I don't think it will, but you never know. Look at those mountains. That looks so good. That looks so, so good. So this lure clearly does work. 
we've had some good sized fish with this. So let me uh, reel this one in. And then we'll throw on a different type of lure. And we'll see how that goes. I definitely think it is easier to hook the fish up looking underwater. But this lure that I'm using is, um, it is top water. So it is a little bit more difficult I feel I feel like it's a bit more difficult but we're catching pretty good now I think I've finally got the hang of it and we're actually managing to bring the fish in and not keep losing it at that last little small bit oh my gosh that looks so beautiful okay so we hit C forgot to mention this this changes the uh, the camera view so that way you can see it again the picture quality of the game just absolutely insane can't wait to max graphics this out if you guys are gonna buy this game yourself as well let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know what you think about the game because I'm actually quite impressed with it so far. Okay, so we used that one in the showing it on the review. We've used this one. Now, let's go to this Robinson. Let's try this. Let's see how well this does. So, this does perch. Okay, pretty much the same as the other one. Okay, there we go. Um, he's applied it, as you can see up there on the top right. Let's give this a cast. Not sure of this one. I don't think this one is going to be a top water. I think it is going to sink a little bit. Yeah, it does sink a little bit. Oh, wow. Okay. It actually sinks right down to the bottom. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, uh, real speed two, again, is something that I figured out myself. I've, I, th I feel like that real speed two is a perfect real speed. And again, to do the real speed, as you can see down there on the bottom right, it shows two little arrows. Now, if I scroll my mouse wheel up, as you can see, that's now on full, full. So you're reeling like as fast as you can. And obviously, if you scroll down, you can scroll down to nothing. So that way, you're not hardly reeling at all. But to reel really, really fast, scroll your wheel up. But I feel like the real speed too, as I said, I don't know why. Just went for real speed too to start off with. And it seems like that has worked out pretty well. So I'm sticking with it. Hence to the expression, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's one of those. This is working well, so I'm not going to bother to, to change it. And as I mentioned, U to look under the water on your keyboard, hit U. M is for map, obviously. I is for inventory. F1 is for help. F2 is for settings, and uh, escape is to exit the game. <clears throat> I am quite impressed with the picture quality, though, for sure. I really am. Right, let's have a cast over, over this way a little bit. I don't know. I haven't got as much of a good feeling using this lure. I don't know why. I think because it sinks too much. I prefer the lure to kind of be in the... Oh. That looked really good there. That did look really good. Yeah, I am kind of prefer it to be kind of center middle of the water. Or if not, closer to the top. Look at those bubbles there. That looked really good. Normally when I do make video videos, they are normally to 8 to 10 minutes long. But for this one, I am making them, for the Ultimate Fishing Simulator, I am making them a little bit longer just to show you guys... Um, a few different things so not really much going on with that let me change over to this one the uh, the mackerel one and we'll see if we get any interest with that I feel like that that one sinks too much the other one it was sinking too much let's have a look at this one this one's probably gonna do the same does it sink right down to the very bottom yeah it does yeah I, I don't have I don't know in this place, don't really have a good feeling about it. Maybe like in a in another place where it was really deep, a lot deeper. I'm not saying it wouldn't work, but I just don't have as much good feeling of it working compared to compared to those top water ones. Yeah, when I use those t that top water one and the other one that was at mid water. I caught pretty quick almost every cast almost but with this I have not and we got the motion there as well just to mention that again I did talk about it in the other video we did but just so that way you know um, there on the side 
you can see that it's um it's white at the minute so what i'm doing is not very interesting to the fish we need that to be green and when it's green it's when the fish are interested so i'm gonna see if i can try real and stop a little bit green there we go now it's pure green that's how we need it to be so that little picture there on the right side there just underneath my lure you can see it's lit up green when it's green the fish like it if it's not green you're not doing it properly and for me as i said real speed two real and stop real and stop real and stop seems to be the uh, the way to go and we actually did have a fish on there at the last second very very small but still yellow perch i think that's our first yellow perch actually <laughs> oh that's so small right, sell it though because it's all money it's a shame that i can't buy anything with that cash right now and there is no i have looked as well just before i did start playing i did look as well there's no info on when this game is actually coming out so um that's a little bit unfortunate because it could be a week could be a month could be five months like we have no idea but uh a little bit of a pain but i will keep an eye on it and as soon as it does become available if you guys want to see more of this i'll buy it and um we'll fish a few different places level up buy some good gear and catch ourselves some monsters to be honest um to be honest i think i probably am gonna buy it anyway just um I did quite enjoy Ultimate Fishing Simulator, so I am quite intrigued of how good this looks. I, I would definitely want to see this maxed out graphics. That looks absolutely incredible already, as it is. All right, so we did have one bit of interest on this, but not very much. So I think the best two lures is definitely this one, for sure, and this one here as well. What one do I think is better? Mm. I don't really know to be honest. I think look, that they both work quite well. They both do work quite well, and I've caught big fish. Well, I say big fish, big ish, not massive, but I have caught big fish with both of them. Now I am obviously only level one, and I am not catching monster-sized fish. But sometimes it can be fun playing a fishing game. Like it is, obviously you do want to catch that big fish. Everybody wants to catch that big fish. But every now and again, it is actually nice just playing. And, um, you know, if you have a chance to catch that one big fish in an hour or catch 10 small fish in an hour, personally, me, myself, I would go for the 10 small fish just because it's more fun like that and you're catching more fish. But everyone is different. It's, it's the same as every game. When you start off, it's a grind. And that's definitely what this is going to be. It's just going to be one of those processes where, obviously, you're catching a lot of the smaller fish before you get into it and catch some of those big fish. But Ultimate Fishing Simulator, if you've never played it, really good game. Um, as I said, I do have some content of that on the channel. And it will be under as, in my playlist, as Just Fishing Planet. So... I put all my fishing games in that in that folder in that playlist so if you want to see any other types of fishing games or anything like that that i've played and you're only interested in fishing you can check out that playlist if you're interested <clears throat> see if we can get a little bit more interest there let's change this round now and show you this one so this one's sort of mid water as i said it doesn't completely sink to the bottom There also used to be, um, what was it, on Ultimate Fishing Simulator, you could change the time. So I'm going to hit T in a sec and see if I can do that now. Okay, doesn't look like I can. Um, Lion leader, help, settings, flashlight. No. Nah. So it says cast near right mouse button. Okay, so hit right mouse button.
right mouse button I'd okay oh right okay there we go I figured it out we got there all right so do so do a little small cast obviously you probably do that if you got bait so if you right click the right mouse button and then hold your finger on it you can see the white bar going up and down then release <laughs> that looked pretty cool so that's how you do it I figured it out we're learning that's pretty cool actually all right so let's move on let's move over to a different spot now just show you another spot I don't know where I'm gonna go there's not somewhere it may be off of there not anywhere Pacific and we're gonna try now a little mm, oh you know what actually no I'm gonna just stick with this video uh, oh well on this video I'm just gonna stick with spinning I think so I'm gonna yeah so that way I can title all this video for just spinning for ultimate fishing simulator 2 and then I'll make a separate video on showing me doing a little bit of bait fishing just so that way we've got a little bit of ultimate fishing simulator 2 on the channel I, I definitely want some of that on there and as I said when this game does release I'll let you guys know and um, as long as you're subscribed as soon as this game becomes available I'll buy it and I'll uh, make some videos on it, probably do a few live streams on it and stuff as well, so drop by, say hello in the streams, and um, hopefully we could have a good time on this game. I really do like the water effect though, the, uh, you can see a bird there flying from the reflection. Yeah, the reflection from the bridge, awesome. The only one thing is, is just those bits of wood going down, the bits of wood and... Um, weeds and stuff like that going down doesn't look good but in my opinion it's probably a little probably a little too fast i would say now like I, I think that's uh moving at a pretty quick pace maybe maybe the flow is it could just be this lake <laughs> but yeah the flow is not something that i uh think's that great all right we've got some interest big fish here let's take our real drag down because we're towards the red. Just clicking and releasing. So that way I didn't reel in too fast. Clicking down click down and hold on the right mouse button. That's my new biggest fish. And uh most cash I've actually earned from one fish as well, actually. That's not bad. Sockeye salmon. That's what I was after. I said I was after that. And there you go, we got it. Four hundred and forty two. That's not bad. Look, we can get eighty eight XP, so let's sell that. I don't think, is there a way for me to find out what level I am? Level 1. I don't think, honestly, I don't think, let me just have a quick look here. No, I don't think I can actually, um, I don't think I can level up. When I made the first video of this, somebody subscribed. And whilst I'm playing this, someone else subscribed. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Welcome to the channel, man. It's completely free to hit that subscribe button. So if you're new as well, definitely hit it. It does help me grow as a content creator. I appreciate all you guys who do that. If you want to become a member as well, you can also click the link in the description below if you want to support the channel that little bit more. If you if you can't, I'm cool with that. That's it's completely fine. By hitting that subscribe button, if you are able to share my content, please do definitely does help me grow as a content creator and i appreciate every single one of you guys who do do that it really does help a lot so i'm going to move over this way this is where i was when we first showed it over this way let's have a cast over here again see if we can get any interest i'm um, wow well, i don't know what happened there i kind of stuck on something so i stood over here on this and I was casting over that way a little bit and over this way as well. So I'm, I'll have a few casts, see if we get any interest. If not, I think actually here, if I'm honest, I think probably them other lures that we won't get much interest on. I think that probably would work here pretty good because here is actually, look at that, 
it, it won't sink to the bottom. Here it is actually quite deep water, so it might actually them lures might actually work better here because the water's deeper rather than um, this lure that I'm using. So I'll, I'll do that. I'll reel this in. We'll put on the other one and uh, yeah, sink that a little bit more to the bottom, and then we can see the bottom because this water here definitely is a lot deeper than the other bit we was fishing. And I don't really see much fish here. But that could be because we're not sinking enough. So let me put on this one. Um, that one looks a little bigger to me. So, bigger lure, bigger fish. At least that's always the plan anyway. So I'm going to be making these videos for 30 minutes. The first one, the review, was 30 minutes. This one was 30 minutes. And this is me just using the um, lure rod. Then, as I said, I'll make a separate video of me messing around with a bait rod using different baits and uh, see what happens, see, see what we catch on the bait rod. I haven't actually caught anything yet on the bait rod, so that would be pretty cool to catch something with that, see how we do. Wow, this water is so deep here. Fish over there, is that a fish? Looks like it. Could be wrong. Yeah, this water's proper deep here. It's really hard to get the motion as well, as you can see there on the right. For me to get the uh, the green. There you go, it's green now. <clears throat> I saw a few fish there. Oh, there you go. Have I lost it? Has it come off? I think it has come off. Yeah, it come off. Uh, that was a fish that I've never seen before, neither. I don't know what that fish was. Let me try it like this. Actually, first we need to wait for it to sink. So we hit U. Wait for it to sink. Right, then we come back to this. Actually, surprisingly, I haven't, I haven't actually done too bad catching fish like this striking like this i, I kind of like it under the water just so that way i can see it hit my lure that looks really good but me doing it like this as well i've actually hooked up quite a few fish by doing this i just keep there you go like that i just look for the lure to kind of do like a little flip kind of thing then when it does that's when i hit the strike button to strike your rod you hit the right mouse button there you go, there's our first black bullhead catfish. Not very big to be honest, but the cash is not too shabby. That's actually alright, that's pretty decent. Alright, one more cast. Let's see if we can do some do something. I am actually quite quite looking forward to using the um the bait rod at this point now. Just because I haven't caught anything with it yet, so and I finally actually caught something with this lure, so that's good. So yeah, I did say this lure and the other one, um, the other one that looks kind of like a spinning one, I did say them two probably are better for deeper water, and I think they are. <clears throat> for the fact that I caught two fish here pretty quick. There you go. Make that free. Yeah, I caught the fish here pretty quick. Me um, just tapping the left button. Yeah, me me catching the fish here pretty quick using this lure means that them lures definitely work better um, in deeper water. So let me just do one thing. I was going to end it, but we'll carry on for a second just for me to... See if I can get any interest. Oh no, wrong lure. See if I can get any interest on on the other one. See what happens. So this one's going to run over 30 minutes, but that's all right. Let's. I just want to see because I said this one would be better in deeper water. I think the other one's going to be better in deeper water as well. I don't know why. There you go. Equip. I didn't click equip. That's why. <laughs> right. So this one should be all right as well. Because, as I said, deeper water. How do I have figured that out and how I know that? Again, it's just because 
Um, I've played a lot of fishing games. When you played as many fishing games as me, you um, you kind of get used to certain lures and certain things. And to be good at fishing, any type of fishing game, the main thing I recommend is always it's just practice makes perfect, and it does. That's really how it that's how it is. I've managed to come into this place, trying this demo, come straight into here, and I've caught, there you go, and just keep catching fish so fast. And again, it's all it is, is just years and years of playing fishing games. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. The same as any game, you know, if you want to get better at games, uh, at a certain game, you just got to put the time in. You just got to put many hours in. Am I going to get this one for a second? And I thought I was honestly going to going to lose that. That one's nice. Smallmouth bass. What a beautiful looking fish that is as well. Not very big, but still, it's nice to catch something different. Uh, definitely last cast because we're running towards 32 minutes. As I said, normally the videos do run on for about 8 to 10 minutes. But for these Ultimate Fishing Simulator, I kind of want to just, um, if you're having struggle, I, I don't know, maybe for the demo. Some of you guys might be alright, but for those new people who's never played this game before and never played many fishing games before, you know, what I'm showing now could definitely help out a little bit, so. i got plenty, um, I'm not going to say what, but I've got plenty of unboxing videos coming, um, probably in about a month or so. I've ordered quite a lot of different things, and I'm just waiting for that stuff to turn up. It's going to be good. It's going to be quite exciting. It's going to be new content to the channel. And, um, yeah, I can't wait for it, but it's just taking so long to turn up. All right, here we go. What did we finish off on? Rainbow? Oh, Sockeye. Nice. All right, that's not bad. Again, not the biggest fish, but that's actually not too bad catch. You know, 330 catch, and I'm catching these fish pretty fast it's not taking me long at all so keep an eye out for the next video because the next video is gonna be me using um the bait rod we're gonna try the bait rod we're gonna try different baits i'm gonna fish in a few different places just like i have this time just move around a little bit and um see what interest we get and see what types of fish we pull up i'm also going to have a look at different hooks as well i don't know if i'm able to change hooks or anything like that and i can definitely change baits I don't know if I can change hooks or anything. Oh, we got another one. Oh, gosh, wow. I'm actually uh, a legend on this game right now. I don't even know how I'm doing it. I, I can't even explain. But it's working, and that's good. That's what g gaming sometimes when you're playing fishing games anyway. That's what makes it fun sometimes, as I said. Not always catching the biggest fish. It is nice to catch the biggest fish, but catching lots of small fish can be good fun as well. There we go. Blackhead. Blackhead? Black bullhead catfish. <laughs> 178. That's not bad, you know. I could honestly just sit here for many, many hours and just keep doing this. I would love to know if the cash went over to the actual game if you brought it. Because if you if you, if that did happen, I'd happily sit here for a, for a week or so every day playing, getting that cash built up. So when the game finally does release... I'm rich straight away. That would be pretty awesome. As I said, I doubt, I doubt that's going to happen, but we are catching fish constant here. It's unbelievable. This lure definitely works good at this spot, so um, tr try it yourself. Let me know. Let me know if you've caught any fish. Let me know if you've downloaded this game. Let me know what you think of it. I, The graphics I am absolutely amazed about. Am I going to get this fish or what? There we go. Well, it took a short second. Smallmouth bass. Right, we're going to end it there definitely now. We're at nearly 35 minutes. Hope you guys <laughs> did enjoy this one. A little bit longer just because um, we're having good times catching those fish. So, yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on. Don't forget to drop a like. Keep an eye out for the next one of us using the bait rod. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.